in this video we are going to begin the constraints constraints are nothing but basically some type of validations which we can apply in our table so that we can ensure whichever data is getting entered into the table is valid and we can use it in future as well so by the time you want to apply a constraint either you can apply it by the time you are creating a table or once you have created and you plan to apply some constraint later you can do that as well through the alter table command and when you are doing that you can apply these constraints at two parts at two different ways like in column level or on table level what's the difference when you write like create table table name column one and its data type if right after that you are starting with the constraint definition on that particular table on that particular column i should say so that is a column level constraint definition all right means along with the column definition column name data type you are adding the constraint definition as well that is column level but once you have defined all the uh, columns of the table and you are planning all the constraints right after that inside the create table only that is a table level constraint so there are two ways where we can add the constraints now let's see what all available options we have for the constraints like here you can see not null unique check primary key and foreign key are the options so if i talk about the not null constraint it will as the name says uh, if you don't want any null value in a particular column like first name so you can apply the not null constraint into that make sure when you are adding the not null constraint it must be only on the time of column level because not null will not be allowed there in the table level part then next is unique constraint unique constraint is something where you can actually ensure that that particular column will not accept any duplicate data but it can accept a null similarly check constraint will do the checking of the incoming value for example i have a column called gender and i am accepting a single character so i will accept expect the m or f as the logical inputs but if we start entering the a b c d in gender column that will be of no use so what we can do we can actually add a check constraint which will ensure that a particular type of value which we are looking for is only getting accepted anything apart from that particular value will not be taken primary key would be a combination of not null and unique as it will neither take a null value nor a duplicate value so there could be only single uh, field in a table that you can designate as the primary key because that particular field will be representing your table uniquely for example for an employees table employee id is the unique feature that every employee must be having and it will not be duplicate as well and foreign key is something like a referential integrity for example if i want to be an employee in uh, tutorials point so i have to be in one of the department which are there in tutorials point for example if there is no division for scientists in tutorials point i can't be a scientist because there is no such department so this referential integrity will ensure that any employee which is getting added in the employees table must be in a department which is already there in the department's table if we try to enter the department which doesn't exist in the department's table that will not be taken so this can be done by the foreign key so in our next video onwards we will start implementing all these constraints one by one